Hi everyone, so in this video series we're going to be learning about how to use WX Python. WX Python is a tool for creating GUIs, graphical user interfaces. And the interesting thing about this series will be combining that with matplotlib, so generating a GUI which allows us to kind of live update um, some matplotlib plots. So we're going to create something along the lines of this um, application we have here called Soil Yield Surface um, PYW file. A P um, the W at the end of the PYW means um, that it won't open up the command prompt as you run it, so it'll just run the application. So we're not going to create this one exactly, but we will create something along the lines, something simple um, and simpler to, um, to illustrate how to use WX Python with matplot matplotlib. So if we just execute this, sorry that it doesn't have the, um, the Python icon in there, just uh, I installed Python 3 recently and it's gone a bit haywire. Um, so here we have my graphical user interface, it's got a nice Python, um, sorry, matplotlib pi uh, plots in there. So some subplots, one, two, um, three, as well as a 3D plot. So if we just um, if we just look at this um, interface, you can see that there's radio buttons, there's spin controls, there's buttons, there's sliders, all sorts of um, um, user interface uh, kind of tools to allow us to control um, our data. So if I click click plots. Um, you can see that I've just updated the matplotlib plots and now by clicking various other options and um, I can and then redrawing I can live kind of update or visualize what my what my graph will look like in this case we have kind of a foundation surface for um, soils in the engineering world of geotechnical engineering and then we can see how we can change parameters and change the the surface and then we can like save this and then um, click on like a different set set this value to eight thousand change this maybe down to five change this up and notice these spin controls are decimal numbers or, or floats rather than um, just normal integers and we'll show you how to do that and if I now I think I clicked save float selection already so if I draw my plots, save selection, I can now plot the selection a nice comparison and um, and now we can see how um, those those parameters that we changed, how that, sh how that changed the envelope the, the, this yield surface and we can compare them and then we can do dimensionless and have nice nice plots so we're not gonna, I'm not going to show you how to make this one necessarily but we'll show you We'll go through one which um, is along those lines, how to embed a matplotlib um, of a plot into um, a graphical user interface powered by WX Python. So if you're interested, uh, keep a lookout for the next few videos in the series. Cheers.